Okay, the next thing that we want to do is to make the ball bounce. After all, uh, we want a bouncing ball applet and not a falling ball applet. Right, so we need to create a floor. So I need to create a new object. So I come to the left hand side again and I try to insert a new shape to represent the floor. So I click on this and click on the magic wand appears again. I click on the drawing panel and I'm going to call the new shape floor. Okay, so you can see the new shape is again a circle, which is of course not what you want. Not what you want. So we double click on the properties and set the shape. What's the shape? The style right? to a rectangle. Okay, and we want the color of the floor to be grey right or maybe brown okay so you can see it has become uh, orange in color okay the floor is also not big enough so I'm going to set the horizontal size to maybe 200 so too big let's turn it to 100 too big fifth third 20 Still too big. Okay, uh, okay, two, too big. One. Okay, one is nice. Okay, uh, the vertical size I'm gonna set to zero point two. Right. In other words, from the top, the thickness uh, is zero point two units. Okay, where is the floor now? Right. So if you click on the applet and hold the left mouse button down you can see the center of the floor this center of this rectangle is now at about 0 0.5 right i'm going to set the horizontal position to zero and the vertical position to be at hmm, let me see uh, I'm going to set the vertical position of the floor to be at negative 0 0.2. Okay. Um, okay. Next, I'm going to set the the vertical the size of the ball. Right. I'm also going to set the size of the the, the diameter of the ball to be 0 0.2. Okay. Uh, why do I do that? Right? Because if you recall the floor has a vertical size of 0 0.2 and the and the pers the center of the floor, right? You can see the cursor here is now at let's see ah, the center of the, the floor is at minus 0 0.2 as we have specified here. Right. Uh, that means that when the center of the ball is when the when the bottom of the ball just touches the top of the floor, the center of the ball will be at x equals to zero. Right. So that would be just perfect to represent a collision between the ball and the floor. Right. So when x equals to zero we will know that the ball has hit the floor and then we can do some programming to uh, simulate that okay so we have specified the sizes of the floor and the ball so we're happy we safe right uh, so if you were to click run now you will see something strange happening right okay so the instead of bouncing off the floor the ball is falling through it right uh, which is not what we want okay so we have to program the bouncing behavior right so um, we what we want to happen is that we want the ball's velocity to reverse uh, when the ball touches the floor in other words when x equals to zero okay so under model under evolution we come to the bottom right hand side here there's a button called event so you click on that then you 
click on uh, an event. What's the event? An event is impact. Okay. Um, hmm. Um, okay, so we stop here for um, for a moment.